Let's now move straight to the big one for tonight, which is the European Super Cup. Two Spanish team again. The last time was in 2006, and it was between Barcelona and also this same Sevilla. And this time around, you're having Sevilla and Real Madrid, both of them in action tonight. Yeah, uh, of course, we should expect uh, uh, drama, you know. Apparently, uh, some people would say that this is all about uh, Gareth Bale because he will be playing in Cardiff, you know, and he's returning home, you know, to uh, the first time as a Madrid player. He will play with the Madrid shirt in Cardiff, so a whole lot of uh, stories surrounding it. Uh, but apparently, you know, looking into the match proper, yes, uh, uh, Sevilla, we know how they play, very compact side, direct. Uh, we remember last season when these two sides faced each other in La Liga. Madrid beat them 7-3 in uh, at the Bernabeu and also lost a 2-1, you know, to Sevilla when Sevilla played at home. So we should be expecting something, uh, something feisty. The Colombian for Sevilla, Mark Baca, I think, is someone they should actually uh, watch out for because uh, I, I like his style of football. And Ancelotti talked about uh, uh, handing debuts to uh, the two uh, men, the two big men they signed this summer. I'm talking about uh, uh, James Rodriguez and Tony Cruz. So we should expect uh, fireworks and everything. But uh, my colleague was saying this morning Namdi, he's talked about uh, a progression you know that is always a, a Europa Cup winner Champions League winner Europa Cup winner Precisely, in that it's been alternated, it's been you, alternated know. you know so right now uh, since <laughs> Bayern won the last one you one. see that hap happening because look at the strike force of uh, Real Madrid it's about I think it's been estimated for close to about 240 million pounds yeah, I'm talking about yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo Gareth Bale, Bale Rodriguez, Rodriguez and of course Benzema is not Benzema cheap too, of course you know. it's not Cheap and, and then factor, Cruz, all of them. Yeah, and, if you, and you will factor into things, if you factor everything they, you know, what they earn and everything, you you will know that it's actually a big deal. So, yes, but sometimes it's not about the money, you know, and some people would say it's just a preseason game. Yeah, there's something involved there, they should win something, but some people would say it's just a preseason game. So, uh, I, I'm not uh, reckoning with the whole, uh, the whole expensive uh, uh, lineup uh, Madrid might be parading. Uh, Sevilla, a very disciplined side, you know, they won the Europa League, very, very tough competition. So people will tell you tougher than the Champions League, you know, and they know this Madrid team inside out. They play against them every season in the La Liga. So definitely, I think, uh, uh, you know, uh, Sevilla should be able to hold their own against uh, over 240 million uh, euros or pounds worth of talent, like uh, Cecilia, uh, you just said. So I, I should be excited. I don't think it will be a walkover for Madrid. You know, it's some, uh, don't, be, don't be surprised if you, get, if you see Athletic, um, um, sorry, Sevilla actually running away with this one, you know, winning by maybe the odd goal. But it can actually really happen right now uh, when they get to play later tonight at Ka in Cardiff, you know, the Millennium Stadium. We should be expecting fireworks. Okay, okay. I think I've got to trust here now. I have a Kyle that's almost live from Morocco. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning, Juan. Well, I, we were talking about what is happening uh, this morning, you know, some of the activities lined up for this morning and the performance of the athletes so far. So what's really happening this morning? What events are the athletes taking part in this morning? Well, in, in, a, in, a, in a few minutes, two senior key and the other group will be doing the triple jump. That's all we have for this morning. Then in the evening, we have the finals of the relays, the four by one men and women. And we, we think we, we know we are going to win the gold medal in the two events. Then uh, we have some, we have the 400 women too. You have less than one minute for your call. Okay. And we are, we are having Chade Abuga and uh, Ada Benjamin. I know patients will call and they have a very good chance in the women 400. Okay, thank you very much for talking to us this morning. I think that's all we have time for on the program this morning. I think we'll get to call you again tomorrow to give us details of that. Our time is really fast spent on the show, at which we were able to we were able to actually get to you earlier on the program. We just couldn't do that. And just a few minutes to go quickly. Let me just wrap up the Real Madrid game and, of course, the Sevilla game. You were talking about the, the fact that Sevilla, of course, they have some big shots, you know, also on their side. And the fact that, uh, you know, people actually saying Cristiano Ronaldo is really not fit for the game, but the coach has come out to say that he will be playing. Yeah, I remember the tour of the United States when they came up, I'm um, talking about Real Madrid now, when they came up against Manchester United, uh, Ronaldo actually playing in that game, playing some parts in that 
game and Ancelotti came back to say uh, came out to say then that Ronaldo it was really desperate to play in the Super Cup. That is why that was why he you know had some <laughs> parts of that particular game. So I think uh, Ronaldo will be playing his fitness. Uh, Ronaldo has always been uh, you know a committed professional. So you know he as as long as he feels his 70 percent 60 percent fit, he will take on uh, to the pitch. Except uh, against the advice of the uh, physiotherapist and the doctors, the other the likes of them, they tell him not to play. But nothing will stop Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, <laughs> from playing into this game. I accept his leg is being uh, is in POP or something. <laughs> okay, yeah, now uh, from that now, you know, there's actually this news coming from the US NASCAR champion talking about the Tony Stewart, the fact that well, he had been well, the fact that law enforcement agencies have actually said that criminal charges, you know, have not been, you know, is not, uh, you know, have not. Have not been started against him simply because of what happened at the weekend yeah, where his sad. car, you know, struck. It was sad uh, because they had a collision with the guy, you know, and the guy came out. Word. The guy, uh, the twenty, was, he was twenty. He came out of the sky, you know, trying to uh, signal for uh, something, and he was hit. You know, so uh, apparently, okay. yeah, it, it was really sad, and uh, you know, they were review foot, uh, uh, video footages and everything, and uh, I think uh, Tony Stewart didn't do it. wasn't It was totally. It, wasn't it was totally unintentional. So I don't think uh, criminal charges will be pressed, uh, but we'll it's, a, it's a developing story. We're watching we'll watch it, you know, it. and we'll see uh, what uh, the outcome will be. Okay. Uh, what well, well, finally on uh, Samuel Okwaraju, where the family have actually said that the National Stadium in Lagos here should be named after him. 27 years after he died at the National Stadium. I agree. It's a quarter of a century, 25 yeah, years. It's no longer the National Stadium. Now. National Stadium is Abuja now. You know, so uh, he's, he already have a statue in front of in the front stadium, of instead of stadium. Be. So I think uh, I think it would just be right, you know, uh, naming it the Sabakwaraji Stadium. Uh, personally, I think I agree with that. Okay, if they have to do that, then they have to refurbish that stadium because it is definitely in a very, <laughs> very bad shape. Thank you so much for being part of the show. Bye for now.